Our frog hops are an endurance exercise for our legs, primarily those quadriceps, a little bit of hamstrings and glutes and calves as well. They're also an exercise designed to get the heart rate up. It's a plyometric move to where we're jumping and landing, so they're also a great exercise for maintaining bone mineral density. For the setup for this exercise, you don't need any equipment, it is all just body weight. We're gonna take a stance just outside of shoulder width. So think about kind of almost like a sumo stance for like our sumo squats and our sumo deadlifts. That means just outside of shoulder width here, toes slightly pointed out. That allows us room to reach down in between the legs as we're reaching down towards the floor here. We're gonna get down nice and low into a squat while focusing on keeping our chest up here. So we're not gonna be hinging on over, reaching for the floor like we would for a deadlift. Try to keep the chest up as best you can. Get down nice and low. Try to touch the floor with those hands at the bottom. We're gonna jump as we come on up. You're not gonna extend all the way at the top. We're just gonna do a little hop here. Legs are gonna stay slightly bent, hinged over just a little bit. And as soon as we land, we're gonna bend those legs and go right back down towards the floor again. Mimicking just like a frog, bending those legs, reaching down and touching the floor at the bottom. There's a few really common mistakes made on this one. Number one, the most common mistake made is hinging at the waist, not bending at the knees. And what that looks like is Instead of keeping the chest up and utilizing a lot of those quads here for this movement, I see a lot of people hinge on over and they look down towards the floor like this. That's gonna be putting a lot more strain on the low back. So really focus, bending at the knees, keeping that chest up. You should not be facing the floor throughout this movement. You should be facing forward. Another really common mistake made on any sort of plyometric exercise where we're hopping and landing again is not bending the legs directly when you come back in contact with the floor. And what that looks like, instead of one fluid movement like this, where I'm coming down, hopping, and immediately bending and going right back into a squat, it looks more like this. Where we're landing hard, putting all of that strain on our joints, putting that strain on the knees, putting the strain on the ankles, and then we are bending the legs, going back into a squat. We want to avoid this. We want to immediately, as soon as we touch the floor, we're already bending those knees so that the muscles in our legs are absorbing the force as we're cutting down, not transferring it over onto our joints. So remember those key things, chest up, bending at the knees nice and low, and landing softly, going right back into a squat on this exercise, and it will help you long-term. You'll get the best results from this movement and you will get the heart rate up as well.